All right, so somebody suggested that I should look at today's Zordal or x Ordal, depending on what you like to call it. Now, I noticed they've done a little bit of cosmetic work here where the word at the top is sort of separated, the given word, so that's kind of interesting. I assume everything else is still working the same, but I guess we'll find out. So the way uh, Zordal works um, is you've got two words that you're trying to guess, but they're overlapped, and so every letter can only be part of one word or the other. So you can't have an E in both words, for example. So, but, but the E could be in one word and the I could be in another word, or they could be in the same word. So we don't really know. So let's see. We obviously want to do something with an E and an I in different positions. So maybe, what if we did light? That, that might be good. Let's go with that. Okay. Interesting. So we've got the E located. Now there could be a second E in that word, but it would have to be in that same word. So I'm just gonna keep doing um, anagram, you know, moving these letters around to different places. Not necessarily an amagram of lights, because we don't want to use an S, but... So the I, the I could be potentially fourth as well. It could be the other word. Might be good to use some other vowels, potentially. Uh, we could do... Co uh, I was gonna do coats, but we don't have an S. I don't want to do coast, either. We could do... Clout, that would be good, because we need to have another spot for the T and the L, and this checks C, O, and U also. Okay. So we've got a T, we've located the T, good. There is an O, and an I, and an E. We'd be good to use an A, potentially. Uh, we could do something like... Ooh, I was gonna say... Fail, but we don't want to do an I there, but I was trying to use an A and an L. Maybe we could do something A-I-L, that'd be good. That's a new spot for the L and the I. Be good to get an A in there. But, I mean, I'm thinking trail there. We already know that, well, there could be another T. So I guess that's not terrible. Let's go with that. Okay. So we look, okay, so good. So we've got, the, so the fourth letter is E and I. The fifth letters are T and L. Now there is an O somewhere, there's no A, so there's the I and the E are in different words. So one of the words has potentially O and E or O and I, and the other word is just E or just I. Now, O-I-L would be good, except the O is not third. So maybe something like this, and it could be I-L or I-T, or E-L. We could have something like, oh, I was gonna say towel, but we know there's no T at the beginning. So it could be O-E-L. Maybe dowel? I mean, that's possible. I don't know how likely that is. And it does check another spot for the O, but we already know the E and the L are there, so. The only letter we have so far that we haven't located is the O. So we need some new letters as well. So, what could we do with some new letters? We could do maybe foodie. Uh, the F, D, and Y would be new letters. Now, it only checks one more spot for the O. But, I'm just gonna go with that anyways. Okay, so well, we located the O and we eliminated some more letters, so I guess that's something. So, let's say it's I-L. What would that be? It's gotta be letters we haven't used yet, and there's only the one O. <clears throat> so, only having one O makes me think it's probably with the I, because, well, no, that's not true, because the O goes with another vowel no matter what, so. But there's not very many options for the I. If we don't have the O with the I, it can only be I's, and it would have to be probably starting with I, because we can't have an I in the second or third position. So I think the O with the I makes the most sense. Now it could be L or T. Something like vomit <laughs> would work. Um. V and M are letters we haven't used yet. Otherwise, maybe posit, but we don't have an S. Um, or if it's, uh, if it's I L, what would that be? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not seeing anything there. So I'm gonna try vomit and see if that might be it. Got it. Okay. So that was one of the words. Awesome. So vomit, and then the other one is gonna be the E L, and I think it's got to have another E. Um, uh, can't be Excel. There's no C. Oh, and there's no E second because of being. So it's got to be E at the beginning. Well, it could be a double E in the middle like this. Wheel. 
Wheel. That would be good. Let's go with that one. It's not wheel. Okay, so it's an E at the beginning. Um, and other otherwise letters we don't we haven't used yet. I want to say Excel, but there's no C. Expel, expel, which goes with vomit, vomit and expel. Okay, expel. There we go. All right. So they've been doing this lately. I don't know if it's always the case or sometimes the case, but where the words are sort of related to each other. So vomit and expel. Interesting. So that was a tricky one with the V and the X and yeah, definitely. And the double E on the expel. So very cool. So let me know how you did with today's Zordal or X Ordal, however you like to say it. And be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Mocha. I like that guess. Oh, it's Mocha. And the A is green over here. <laughs> ooh, ooh, you know what we could do? Khaki, that would be really good with a double K. If the O isn't second, it has to be last, but that seems less likely. So C O something S E. Uh, oh, Barcelona. We're in Barcelona. Okay, so we are in Spain. There you go.